Goldstein to Radio 4 in a parallel world where baked goods have sentience. <laughs> and now, as part of our Biscuit History Month broadcasting, a special episode of Dessert Island Discs. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, hello to all you edibles and consumables. My name's Rich T and I'll be taking a tea break from my radio book DJ. And now as part of our kind of evening here, we've got the very host of Crust a Minute. And might I say, a real cream cracker. Oh, stop it, you. The incomparable Sir Duncan Nibble. Oh, Chantay, my dear. Now, Duncan, Duncan, you've let your velvety tones to many panel shows. And an upcoming travel up. And an upcoming travel up. And, you know, we'll discuss that, but your roots were in the drag scene. Tell us a little more about your old persona, Cookie Google. Well, firstly, I'd just like to say how nice it is to be sitting with one of our finest and first openly biscuit broadcasters. As were you, Duncan, <laughs> as were you. On to Cookie. Yes. Ah, here we are now, two notorious old Twinkies all rubbing together. We are, we are, we are. But well, I don't want to hear about that. Well, I want to hear about um, Cookie. Oh, well, fine, talk fine. About well, look, Cookie was really a product of the uh, 80s underground scene, you know, uh, club biscuit in Soho. <laughs> the Penguin Bar. Exactly. <laughs> Jammy Dodger. Oh, yes. He calls to be a server at first. A biscuit dragged off as a donut. But once people realised it was all in the fun. You got in a bit of trouble with him once, didn't you? Well, we do this thing where he picked everyone's pockets, and I thought for a lot I'd try and steal the jam by town in the centre. You did it! on the karaoke and don't go making my heart. <laughs> and I just snuck up behind it and nicked it. You jammy bastard. <laughs> of course I gave it back in the end. <laughs> Those were the days, eh? Oh, they were wild. Bar needless. You couldn't turn a corner without someone offering you a party. <laughs> uh, I once saw Bob and Freeman. Give me the wrong <laughs> to our princess die jester. No. <laughs> when they were, when they saw me, they pretended he was just trying to offer her the twin finger. Oh, rich and tea grant. Me, rich and tea grant. You are incorrigible. I told him to eat my ginger nuts. Oh. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, I came up with cookie within that context, such context. Exploration yeah. this character who was very feminine, very sensual. And fond of squirting cream on people. <laughs> I think I spent about half my paycheck on cream, but the crowds laughed at it up. Laughed at it literally. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but it was very different growing up. Oh, yes. Oh, back in the day, back at school, we'd get done to the first time we could watch teachers. <laughs> Did the other children know? Well, I couldn't look exactly hide it, could I? Even back then, I was a complete pink waiter. So good! <laughs> My mother never minded. I think she had her own problems bringing up a teeny tea cake all on her own. She'd been seduced by an American boy on the wall. They must have seemed very exotic to her. Oh, yes. I should think across the pond he'd have been cheap as you like, but uh, truly I think she he broke her heart. Mm. And how about the rest of your family? How were they when they found out you were... Uh, I'm going the Milky Way. <laughs> <laughs> well, of course, they were Snickers. That's <laughs> <laughs> it was at the time. Mm. Mm. And do you think it's different now, growing up? As a biscuit. Hmm. I think there's a lot more openness and uh, increasing fluidity in uh, how 